I played a soundbite from Troy Young the other day, uh, Troy, uh, Trey Young the other day, um, Grant, um, about his response to hearing the F word from Knicks fans <laughs> during the playoffs and how he likes to shut them up. And I, I assume you heard um, what Clay Thompson had to say about the Celtics fans when it was brought up to him. It's not like he had an agenda when he got out there for his post-game um, press conference after game three. And what, what you were like uh, on the road and hearing, hearing it from the crowd Grant, your two cents on that subject that's out there in the NBA Finals conversation right now. Well, you know, there there's a code of conduct that is uh, expected and required. And, you know, look, when I played in the 90s, you know, crowd said whatever and players <laughs> said things with, to the crowd, you know, and I'm part to blame. It, it, you know, at times, you know, I said some things that I'm not very proud of. But, huh. you know, I think now with, 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 you know, technology and cell phones and, you know, everybody's being watched. We we expect and demand that the players, you know, not re- react and respond a certain way, uh, and are fined and penalized if and when they do. Um, you know, look, I think you can boo. I think you can, you know, all of that. But when you start, you know, going over the board, I think that's, you know, we we we, we should, you know, held our held hold ourselves as fans um, to the same standard that we demand from players, and so. Um, but you know, it, 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 at the end of the day, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to penalize and, and hold an entire building accountable. Um, but you know, I mean, look, I, I, it is what it is. And, um, you know, I think, you know, the bottom line is the, the fans don't win the games. It's the players and it's the play, what they do on the court. And if players are, are too busy and too worried about that, then, you know, the fans have won. Yeah. And, um, so you got to you got to tune it out and go out and focus and concentrate on trying to get the job done. What are your thoughts prior to Game Four? What you've seen through the first games uh, of these NBA Finals and how you think it's going to play out, Grant Hill? Rich, I, you know it's interesting. I, I I don't know. I mean, I really I, I think Golden State has shown that they can bounce back. They they have the institutional knowledge. I mean, they lost in the second round to Memphis after losing. They were on the road. They lost by fifty points and still came back and not only won the next game, I think won the series. Um, So, you know, Clay played well. He shot well. Steph's been really good. Uh, They have to get off to a better start. At times, Boston has struggled at home throughout the playoffs. Uh, But Boston has looked really good, particularly at home in, in game three. I don't know who wins, but I will say this. Whoever wins game four, is going to win the series. Really? So you're laying that much on the line uh, on Friday night? Yeah, I think if Golden State wins, they tie it up. I think they go back and, um, you know, they win game five and, and, and they're they're in pole position. Uh, and I think, you know, conversely, if Boston wins up 3-1, uh, they've done well on the road throughout the playoffs. They've closed out, you know, some games on the road or at least had some must-win games on the road. Uh, in these playoffs. And so uh, I think they'll have, you know, three games to win one. And uh, so I think this is a big game. I think, I think whoever wins game four, kind of bold to put it out there, Mm -hmm. but uh, I think whoever wins game four wins the series.